set one will be played on Newkirk. Needs to wait until... Okay, the fans are done. Spawning in the bottom right-hand position as the red Protoss from Samsung Khan. His name is Jangbi. And will he Jangbang the opposition today? That's the real question. I was going to save the word until he goes for the all kill today. Nah, man. I'm going I'm to start off strong with it, man. You're going to start off strong. Okay, fine. Well, his opponent is Hydra, a ZBP monster from CJ Entus, spawning as Blue Zerg on the left bottom position of Newkirk. I wouldn't call him a PvZ monster. I would call him a PvZ annihilator, man. ZBP. He, ZBP annihilator. He just takes Protoss. He researches a few Zerg upgrades, and then he just like devours Protoss oh. players. Well, if Jambi can win this match, then I, like I said, he could definitely go for the all kill today. So it's up to Hydra to stop it and bring the momentum to CJ Entus earlier yeah. in the game. Now, let's talk about the map change. Only one change, that is uh, we did have two watchtowers in the middle of the map. They're gone. Yeah, the watchtowers, uh, they got rid of them. Uh, I guess Cuspa, they don't really like the watchtowers too much, especially in the middle of the map where you can see a lot of the important, um, I, I guess, um, attack paths. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally, I'm fine with it. I think it's it's fine that they removed the watchtowers. Uh, it's like it whatever. Just, it just creates more variety sometimes because, ex for example, there's a Zergling run by running around the top area at the 12 o'clock position. And if there's a single probe over there, it's going to be anticlimactic because the Protoss player scouts everything that's coming at the natural. Yeah. If um, Now the players, they have to scout around a lot more, especially for Protoss players who can't be aggressive aggressive earlier in the game. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, the Watchtowers can be quite useful for being... I think it allows people to play a little bit too defensive, a little bit too safe at times. So, um, when the watchtowers are in certain positions, I think that uh, on maps where they're kind of uh, around the outskirts, then I think they can work just fine now. Yeah, the ones on Caldeum, that was pretty good. Oh, look at this. We have a cheerful and I guess uh, some cakes for Samsung Khan because you know, Coach January, she recently got her 200th win in Pro League. And remember, um, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. It was Jongvi's birthday. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So it's a double ceremony today. That's why they, have, they have two delicious looking cakes. Mm -hmm. One for the one for coach and one for the player. It's like one for Stork and one for Stork. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, kidding. Of course, he's the oldest player in the team. So it's like, well, I know you're supposed to get a coach, but I'm going to get it anyways because yeah. I have more power than you. And Jongbi, well, well, you don't, you're not as famous as me, so I'm going to get the cake away from you. I, I don't know about that, man. I think right now Jongbi is a little bit more popular than Stork, at least in the foreigner scene. That is true. Yeah. Uh, I know it can be quite different between um, the foreigner scene and the Korean scene. Certain well, players may be a lot more popular. It's like, it's like uh, you know, really even between these two players. You know, Stork had a huge splash in the scene after you know having a great finals against Fantasy, but Jongbi going for two ors, two yeah, ors that kind of, in a row. <laughs> that kind of even it, even it out, man. I have to say so. Uh, it looks like our Zerg player he went ahead and got in his he got his third base uh, up. But the Jongmi, he didn't scout it yet. It, it was not revealed from the Protoss side. Just, you know, going for a very standard opening here, getting uh, his wall at the natural, just securing the gases in his main base. And uh, this probe will come up here, and yes, it does scout that third base. So Jongmi will be able to rest easy, knowing that the Zerg player not going to go for some kind of crazy two base all in. All right, so these two players, they have something going on at against each other. Not Roro, but uh, I'm talking about Jongbi and Hydra, because on the same day, Hydra did not make it into round two of the Challenger League, and Jongbi made it through. Mm. So Jongbi, at very least, he's going to be in up and downs. Hydra, he needs to go back to the qualifiers. Ouch. It's brutal, man. It hurts. Qualifiers are they're pretty hard. I would know. I've played in them. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would really know, especially... Well, let's not talk about it too much. There's a video out there following There's me a video. through my, my Code A escapades and charades. That's all we need to say about it. Yeah. All right, we have a stalker completed here for our Protoss player, moving across the map. And uh, Zergling from Hydra up around that third base, going to be using that potentially scout, see what's going on. Um, we may have a little bit of aggression here, actually, from Jongbi. Yeah, it seems like he wants to harass around with the stalker in the middle of the map. And, oh, just scouting around to see if there's any Zerglings in the middle of the map to see... To take down the free Zerglings and look at this, Mother Shakur going... F trying to chase down the one single Zergling, even going for the second one. Can we actually see a fast third from Jongbi? It's certainly Ooh, possible there here. There we go. Oh, wow. Six minutes, 40 seconds, and we got an expansion. Famously called the metagame third by one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is really risky. And 
but it does pay off in the long run, I have to say. Yeah. So it really depends on Hydra scouting to see, you know, if you guys see Overlord inside the main base, does he see any extra buildings such as Stargate and Robo on time? Yeah. You know, maybe he's doing something like this because the map has changed a little bit. Not going to be as easy to, uh, you know, hold that watchtower and kind of mm. scout his opponent out. Sentry over here going to uh, scare away that Overlord. And uh, I think we're going to have John be um, warping or um, having his units recall. Nope, they're just going to go ahead and run home. Uh, Zergling speed is only just starting right now while the Protoss player getting more gateways up, getting a few cannons at the third base, researching mm. plus one, warp gate about to complete, and a Roach Warren and an Evo Chamber on the way for our Zerg player as his lair is uh, just about to complete up. So he's going to go straight up Blink Stalkers at this point. Depending, um, yeah. So he's going to rely on the power of the gateway army on his uh, plus two, plus three upgrades that he's going to hit. Uh, later in the game with the blink. Yeah. I have actually seen uh, some more blink stalker play lately against Zerg players trying to kind of incorporate timings and yeah, I have to agree. They can be very strong, especially if you catch the Zerg player off guard mm -hmm. and uh, you know, going Hydras <laughs> against blink stalkers. Uh, the blink stalkers can trade pretty evenly if you have good micro. It really depends on the Zergling usage from the yeah. Zerg player and how they surround the main army because I'm passing success success with it and oh. I've had some um, no. you know, losses with it. So. A few force fields go down there, but only two Zerglings get picked off there. That ain't parting force fields. <laughs> they are not parting force fields, I guess you can say that. Uh, uh, look so at this, though. Blank on the way from our Protoss player. He's also getting a robotics. So it's about complete now, mm -hmm. and uh, that plus one is going to complete as well here. So we'll probably be seeing plus two. And now that the Twilight Council and Robo timing is scouted from Hydra, He's probably going to be wondering, all right, what's my opponent trying to do here? Well, I realize that he's gotten a fast expand, but still looking a little bit fishy behind. Well, looking at the chrono, he knows that this is going to be some type of blink play. Um, with mixed in something from the Robo, possibly Immortals for earlier push, or Colossus, so that um, he could roast the Hydras easily and use the blink stalkers to counter the Roaches. Yeah. Uh, I like this follow-up fourth hatchery from the Zerg player there, and uh, you know he is getting that infestation pit and the roach speed all about to complete as well. You know, going back to the picking about the blink, I want to I want to say this. You know, a lot of players they're trying to play defensive throughout the whole game, and Protoss especially because you know once they get to the late game army, um, it's unbeatable. I have to say, if the Protoss player plays it right. But a lot more recently, these Zerg players, Terran players, Protoss players, they want to be more on the aggress aggressive uh, side. Hold that thought. Speaking of aggression, we have Zerglings running into the main and natural here. John going to lose a few probes as well. And oh, I, I just got to say, nice little play from our uh, CJ player here, getting Certainly. a few kills here and there. Not as devastating as uh, some of the circling run bites that we saw last week, but yeah. still pretty good. Oh, look at this, though. Swarm hosts on the way from Hydra nice here. Decision. Adding that in, he's he's got an interesting unit composition. Roach, Hydra, Swarm host. And uh, a spire is starting to be constructed uh, behind this as well. These are going to really favor the the range and care base upgrades, though, from the Zerg Evo, Evo chambers. Mm -hmm. And it also denies Zhongbi from pushing out with only Blink Soccer. So now he needs to wait for the you know heavy on heavy gas army composition before he starts moving out on the map. He saw the robo timing, so there's no reason for him to just stay with only Hydra and Roaches oh, and die look at to this. the timing. Double robo all the way from our Protoss player. John B, he's getting a lot of Colossus out. He has the three base economy, so we can certainly afford to do that here. And the, the blink was just used, I think, to kind of scare his opponent, keep him guessing. And just, you know, look really? at the Jami. He is so fearless, man. He's just moving in there, yeah. trying to scare away the Zerg uh, like army, even like though I said, it's a lot smaller. Like I said, they want to be aggressive as possible. They want to force They want to force a fight away from their third base yeah. and the Naturals. That's what these players are doing these days. They don't want to fight at their main base, even with the Nexus Cannon. They just want to go out, fight, and make sure that if they win one engagement, they take out a hatchery yeah. right look away. Look at this, though. All of the Swarm Hosts are being scouted, essentially, by that Hallucinated Phoenix there. Plus three on the way, that plus two did recently complete for Johnny as well. And uh, he's going to gear up, going to get that fourth base momentarily here. While the Zerg player focuses on that plus two range attack, getting seven Corruptors out right now and uh, focusing on that plus one flyer attack. You know, I'm surprised that Hydra is not being aggressive right now. You know, the early third base has been taken down by Chang B, and the Robo started pretty late, which means that if he had tons of Roaches and Hydras, he could have just gone for the bus and won the game. Yeah. Actually, uh, if you think about it, Hydra's kind of playing this like a Protoss player. Would yeah. Play. He's playing very defensive, just you know, focusing this on his economy and building up his army. He's just allowing Jongbi to get whatever he wants at this point. Yeah. And 
Up to three Colossus. Yes, there are eight Corruptors out in the field, but remember, Blink Stalkers with plus three. That is scary against Corruptors. Yeah, okay, those Locusts are going to be able to kind of uh, scare away this Protoss army here. Uh, the real danger right now is Jungmi may get caught out of position. His Mothership he needs to go for the recall. He needs the recall out of there. That's all he can do right now, but... He has a reinforcement tower, but he, he has he wants to go for it. He doesn't putting... have any more for recall. Jungmi getting attacked from three sides here, but uh, the angle overall pretty good for Hydra here. He's going to completely decimate this army. He's going to decimate all the Colossus, but let's look at the ground. It seems like there's enough Hydras to scare away those Stalkers, yeah, and yeah. I'm surprised that he used Time Orbs. Yeah, I was actually hmm. expecting Jami to retreat there, because that's a, a very hard uh, and battle to win here's, against. Here's the problem for Protoss players. Once they lose a high gas army, it's very they don't hard really, to yeah, it's really hard to defend against army. Um, Uh-oh. Look at this. The I Swarm mean, Host is going to come in, reinforce the Hydras as well. It's going to completely kill mm -hmm. off. The Stalkers, the Colossus, Jangbi, he is not the one uh, getting uh, the wins today, man. He is... Hydra is just completely rolling over Jangbi, essentially. This wasn't a great decision by Jangbi, I have to say. Yeah. You know, he was in a perfect position. He had three Colossus. All he had to do was uh, recall out of there, get two more Colossus, get some Stalkers out, even add in some Archons and go for the push again, knowing that his opponent is playing really defensive, but... I don't know why he engaged into that. Oh, I mean, look nice at it right now. Nice forward move by there, using those Corruptors. He doesn't care if he loses a few of them. GG. Oh, just snipe off that Colossus. GG is called. Hydra taking a very convincing game one over Samsung Kong. Jambi looking uh, a little bit kind of confused there, thinking, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have gone for that uh, attack, I guess. Yeah. Probably backed off there. Time yeah. Warps didn't help by Jungbi at all. They were placed further away from his main army, which means that, you know, as soon as uh, the Zerg army actually attacked into Jungbi's main army, they would the Time matter. Warp wouldn't matter. He didn't have, he didn't use a recall. The force fields weren't as great. And so, I mean, he got attacked in a completely open area, essentially, you know. Uh, I would have preferred for him to recall home and kind yeah. of fight in that choke near his third base, maybe add a few more mortals into his army, get that storm, but, you know, essentially just going straight up Link stalker.